Well, everyone loves an underdog story, and this edition of Athlete of the Week features a two-for-one as both an overlooked running back and his underestimated team are putting together dream seasons. Sports reporter Alex Stewart has a story. In 1862, during the Civil War at Pea Ridge, the Union Army claimed a surprise victory over a larger Confederate force. Fire! Over 160 years later, the battlefield of Pea Ridge is once again seeing the odds defied. We've called it the battlefield because that's where all the magic happens and we're not going to give up on, we're not going to give up. Over the last three seasons, the Blackhawks football program has won a combined five games. However, the struggles didn't produce a demoralized group, but rather they've molded a battle-tested one, led by their general senior running back, Seth Foster. You know, Seth Foster's a kid that, um, that does everything right, not just on the field, but off of it. And I'm very excited for him that it's, it's paying off on the field. Foster serves as the perfect embodiment of this Blackhawks team, an overlooked and undersized former lineman turned halfback who has been doubted throughout his career due to his 5'7 height. Yet in his final campaign in NWA, he's proving the doubters wrong. People be sleeping, I'm up working. That's where it starts, that's how good players are made. And I'm dedicated to the process and it's paying off. All the hard work's paying off. Number 28 has been nearly unstoppable this season. Through four games, he's averaging 10.1 yards per carry, has found the end zone 10 total times, and has racked up 654 yards on the ground. That's good for sixth best in the entire state. I think it's a big accomplishment for me. We're not done yet, but it's, uh, I want to be top three for sure by the end of this season. It's, it's huge to be able to lean on him. Uh, you know, we need, a, we, need, we need a big play. Like, it, it, it's, he's our guy. This success came as no surprise to the Blackhawks, though. Its foundations were forged in hard work and an unwavering belief in the program's culture, something that once Foster bought in, the team followed. It's kind of crazy, kind of what's happened to this team. We went three and seven last year, and here we are four and zero. It's taken a lot for this team, a lot of dedication and hard work. To be able to buy in to an offense, defense, special teams plan, uh, and a coaching culture, it's special to see them be rewarded for it. So whether it be Foster, the Blackhawks team, or the Union Army, a word to the wise: take care not to overlook or underestimate what's in front of you, especially should you find yourself in Pea Ridge, Arkansas. Pea Ridge and Foster will look to match their win total from the previous three seasons this Friday in their homecoming game against Dardanelle.